Hello everyone. Today I'm studying Top Sense Slug. It has a really good understanding about this hero and the new item build Mage Slayer. With a new item build, the today I really understood how strong the Slug is. So definitely Top Sense understanding about this hero is like in another level. So studying him to be a better carry player. It will be easier for Slark to punish him with the SN Shift and Op of Venom. Which is why Nyx is already cutting the wave. He doesn't want to man fight against this Slark. So the little things that we can learn from Topsen is he hide the courier in the fog. So the Nyx as he was there to cut the wave, he can't kill his courier. And he's taking the tango after the boundary rune. He bought a tango set and he is taking it now. With the help of this end of the set of tango, he will be able to punish the tango layer better. Because these three tangos are not enough for this slug to be aggressive in this lane. He can simply farm underneath the tower or behind the wave, behind the tower, but he doesn't want to do that. He brings a wave to the enemy and he matches the wave the to the wave that they cut. So by doing this, he puts so much pressure on this Nyx and Pangolia. If he brings a wave behind the tower or if he brings a wave behind the tower, that's good. He will free farm. He will be able to deny the creeps by doing that. But at the meantime he wouldn't be able to pressure the enemy. Why? In this lane Slack and Clockwork are super strong against them. So which is why he wants to help the clockwork by being here so the clockwork can definitely do better. If he choose to go there, the clock won't get to come here to get the level so. Uh, so by doing this, clock also having a good time. At the meantime, he managed to kill the range creep. So the pangolia couldn't get the gold. At the meantime, he again set up the wave very closer to his tower. So they are in a really good position. So now the opponents are forced to come into their side once again. So this will be definitely in Slack's favor. Now level 2. He will be definitely able to punish the Pangolia now. Now you can see how he plays very aggressively punishing the enemy, understanding his hero really well against the Pangolia. Now he's back to farm. At the meantime he will be able to deny the creep at least he made sure the pangolia doesn't get the gold from range creeps. Every wave he's making sure the enemy can't secure these range creeps, which is really nice. At the meantime, he's always positioning himself besides to the enemy creep. He doesn't play behind his creeps. It shows that he was like very strong against pangolia and he wants to punish the offlaner whenever he comes in front. Look where he positions. He is literally between his creep and enemy. So by doing this, he is applying so much pressure to this Pangolia. All the time, whenever he has a possibility to punish the Pangolia, he chased him out. So the Pangolia wouldn't be able to play there. So. Pangolia was used to forced to use the first skill to secure the creep. Now he wouldn't be able to get this range creep. So these little things that Topson does allows him to win the lane better. So because of this move, he's getting stealing agility. Now Pangolia is far away from the creep wave. So if he wants to farm, he has to use the skill. So he chose a skill to farm these two creeps. So he got the last hit. He's really happy about it. But his skill is on cooldown right now. For another 15 seconds, he wouldn't be able to come in. Why? He cannot run away. He doesn't have the escapability anymore against this slug. Against his Pangolia, he will be able to chase him because he's already dominating the lane. He wants to make sure the Pangolia cannot come closer to the creeps. So this boot allows him to chase this Pangolia. Again is Pangolia. He will be able to chase him because he's already dominating the lane. He wants to 
make sure the pangolia cannot come closer to the creeps so this boot allows him to chase this pangolia you can see he never sit behind his creep and chills he always in front of his enemy also behind their creep wave behind the enemy's creep wave so by doing that he is being able to punish the enemy definitely super harder now he brought the wave to the big cam which was pulled by clockwork and now he secured the big creep so he gets so much experience and gold it gives him decent amount of experience and at the meantime also the biggest reason is he doesn't bring the wave to there because if he brings the wave to there you don't have your lane creeps to tank it one reason second reason Pangolia will have the access to this big camp whenever the first kill is on cooldown he will always stay away from the slug otherwise he's in danger so which is why Slack is winning this lane with just a brown boot and open mana. Now as a carry player, you also need to focus on fast farming than your opponents. You can't like always think about winning the lane only. Because laning stage will go away and you have to play the mid game and the late game. As as a carry, you will have so many responsibility throughout the game. So for that, uh, you also need to figure out what kind of item itemization is good for this game. So he understand this Midas is super nice on this hero, especially for this game, specifically uh, because that's a strong threat and a doom. So like strong threat, when you have a strong threat, you don't really force the team fight at the earliest stage of the game. You're not going to run at the enemy like for all the siege creep timings like you will definitely look for kills uh, you will fight for the bounty runes, power runes, everything but you are not going to force your storms to take a team fight before he gets his hit his timing so understanding that he also doesn't need to force himself to fight against these super good team fighting heroes if you look at the enemy lineup they are really good at team fighting scaling damage and all so against these high spell damage dealers he doesn't want to waste his time fighting those so he decides to buy Midas because anyway the game is going to be slowed uh, until 13 to 15 16 minute mark so it will allow the strong to hit his spell timing and also the item timing so by doing that like he will also be able to get higher levels on the enemy so this Midas definitely accelerate his farm And when he chose to go for the Midas, he knows he's going to spend a couple of his minutes just hitting the neutrals and the lane creeps. So he needs a lot of mana because this is the skill that allows you to clear these small neutral camp creeps faster. That's a, that's the way you farm fa faster on this slug. So these clarities are definitely going to help you to farm faster. now. He's farming the jungle, but he has a really good re uh, reason to go back to his safe lane tower. It's not because the tower is dying to the creep wave. It's also because the siege creep gives you so much experience. So you definitely need to take it. Now, he's farming the jungle, but he has a really good re uh, reason to go back to his safe lane tower. It's not because the tower is dying to the creep wave. It's also because the siege creep gives you so much experience so you definitely need to take it so now he goes bottom lane to kill the siege creep and they managed to kill the ursa who's trying to take the tower on his own so now by doing this they made sure the ursa doesn't get to free farm second the tower is still there third thing he got kills experience and he still has the access to these camp 
because if you once you lose this tower it wouldn't be that easier for you to farm these camps but by holding this tower you get to farm this and at the meantime he sold the wave into the enemy tower so by doing this he is forcing the enemy to come to bottom lane so as soon as he forces the enemy to come to bottom lane he leaves the bottom lane and now he has a really good reason to go to top lane why he knows that he forced the enemy to t come bottom his focus is getting his item timing now so why do you really have to play this side so once you lose this tower why these camps are harder to farm because like once you lose this tower this area is super dangerous for a carry player to be around that area now we'll use the radiant reason so now he's at the top lane at the meantime he has the reason on top of the enemy carry and also the instant is blocked which is nice and now he is at the top lane to process the tower while he's farming free farming so he managed to take the tower and escape so by doing that that was a very risky play because his Midas is ready to be used so he escaped he the very high risky calculation play which paid off for his team so now he back he's back to farm at the meantime he forced the pangolia to come top also the battery is at the top lane he forced the pangolia's ulti so now the team knows the skills are on cooldown the tps are on cooldown so they don't need to waste their time looking for the enemy at the other side so everyone now there is strong street has this orchid slack is ready to fight he, they they didn't want a team fight because they want to they want the strong to have this orchid first so he hits this timing so now they are ready to fight so which is why they go together understanding that they are the top lane the pangolia ulti was on cooldown since the jose to kill the slug but he failed to so now they are getting punished for that misplay and it really worked out for them because they take the team fight right after the strong speed got his item timing this first item timing so this is super and now which is why they are allowed to secure the tower as well so why is this tower is like really important because like once you take this tower you have the access to the enemy jungle to the top side and also the right side jungle triangle you will be able to go there and here and once the tower is down you also will be able to solve the lane into the enemy side and ev each and every time you solve the creep waves into the enemy side they have to answer to that somebody needs to defend it so every time there's a core hero comes to defend it you know where they are so you will be able to get the information where the enemies are so that way you can have better information how did they manage to win this team fight so as they're taking this tower they're trying to defend it and the radiant knows the pangolia and bytrader has to tp because they managed to kill them earlier so already made a mistake getting caught to this clockwork and he goes down before the bytrader arrives so now the OD is out of the fight. It's four was five. But Tyre wants to fight because there's no doom, no hook salt, so they really wanna fight. But the things didn't go well as they planned because the lasso got cancelled on this slug because of that back. So they don't have their control over this slug anymore. He doesn't have anything, so he doesn't have a reason to stay there anymore immediately moves to the bottom lane and he's pushing the lane before he moves to jungle so by doing this he's forcing the enemy to react to this he got their mage slayer so this item why is it so good on slug and how it makes slug stronger this item to give you 20 agility 20 plus damage and plus 20 percentage magical resistance if you look at the enemy they have quite a good magic damage heroes by Raider, Pangolia, Nyx and Urza I mean Odi so and also 
Whenever you attack the enemy, causing them to do 35% less spell damage for 4 seconds. This is really amazing against the spellcasters. And he has the magical resistance too, so this is superb. Now he's being the body for the team, because you don't consider Doom as a body all the time. Doom wants to position himself behind somebody, so he gets to jump on the right target. So he's like farming super faster. If you check the network, like it's doing really good. 20 minute power on time, power on timing. So they are smoking for this because they are ready. They are super ready for this. If you see, Slack is the one to go in front. To find the Audi, Audi is done. Once the Audi is down, this fight is over for the Dire. Even 20 minutes into the game, Slack is always buying his own clarity to refill his mana. Now he solves the top lane while he's free farming. Also because of the siege creep, now enemy has to TP there to defend it. At the meantime, once he saw the lane into the enemy tower, he immediately TPs to the mid tower. Knowing that the enemy is going on storm spray, they are looking for storm. We will see how he understand this team fight. So first they are forcing the enemy to react and here he understand the slug doesn't have the slug understands the Audi doesn't have the second skill anymore when he used it on the slug. So immediately he chose to go on this Audi and keep him away from the team fight so the Audi doesn't get to ulti or deal any uh, amount of damage to the team. So now, even though he couldn't kill the Audi, he managed to force the Audi to leave the team fight. Right. And it was a 4 vs 5, and Audi is also forced to run away. Now it becomes 3 vs 5. So now they have a really good chance, better chance to win this team fight. Once you win the team fight, immediately solve the lanes. Always, the lane has to be pushed into this enemy side. So by doing that, you will be able to press at the enemy. Now they are super stronger. It made in their enemy triangle. So the Ursa doesn't have the instance to farm. They control their triangle, punishing the enemy by camping over there. And Slug can easily devote with the help of this shadow done status. So he bought his own sentries and that way he can easily devote. Also he will be able to kill the Nyx too. Understanding the enemy doesn't want to fight but they want to fight because they are so, mu so much stronger. Now the next item, Singe and Jasser. This gives you status resistance, plus 25% status resistance, which is uh, really nice. Why? Like, there's the lesser excesses in stuns, and Pangolia and Audi will kite you so hard throughout the team fight. So, by having this, it won't be a problem anymore. And Slack has his Dark Pack too. And about the magical uh, damage, he has 20% magical resistance. Also, he reduces the enemy's magical resist uh, magical damage by 35% whenever he hits the target for another 4 seconds. So, by this item build, Slack is unkillable. So Slack becomes super stronger. So, they know they were they were in here for uh, such a long time. They secure the tower. So, since the enemy don't want to come to their triangle to farm, they don't get to kill them. At the meantime, the enemy is chilling on the other side of the map. So, they really want to punish them. They want to run at them because they are so much stronger. 
and they have a slug so wherever he goes he will find the vote and devote so slug is the one who's going in front so the doom will get a chance to jump on the right target so they find the Ursa and Bat Rider doesn't want to catch his slug at the meantime they get to kill this Ursa which is a free kill Chops in slug with his itemization looks very overpowerful Has to free farm. They don't go back to their own jungle. They always want to in farm their jungle, so the enemy doesn't have a place to farm. Even 30 minutes into the game, he's still using the clarity, making sure he has full mana, full HP, most of the time. This game is completely one-sided. Because of this, the item build on this slug is like unkillable. Very hard to deal damage. Super hard to lock him down with a dark pack, mage slayer, and the S and Y, which gives him status resistance. Today I learned a lot from Topsen Slug. See you guys another another video. Bye bye.